Last week, I had the privilege of meeting the American ambassador to South Africa, Patrick Gaspard. We were together to talk about a program that Gibbs is running across the continent of Africa to develop uh, financial journalists and build the capacity to analyze companies and the economy. It's a very important initiative. As we all know, data is vital to investors, and good data means good investment because people have clarity and certainty about markets. In talking to the ambassador, I was reminded of the strength of U.S. companies, in particular innovative companies. And in fact, as we look around at how we live and work, our lives are really dominated by the strength of mainly technology companies who have emerged in the last 20 or 30 years. This has been an extraordinary achievement. America somehow, perhaps because of its history, has the ability to innovate and keep innovating. Of course, it's a relatively young nation, so maybe that's where it comes from. But it's attracted to its shores individuals who are highly innovative. And the last 30 years has seized the opportunity of the technology revolution. Indeed, it's created it. From companies like Intel all the way through to Microsoft in recent years, businesses like Google are really doing an extraordinary job of changing the way economies and societies work. Many years ago, I visited uh, Stanford Business School, which is in Silicon Valley. And I remember thinking back that it was surrounded by very little development. In fact, uh, orange farms in the neighborhood. This January, I was fortunate to be back there again and see the extraordinary dynamism, the cluster of companies that are nestled in that valley that are probably producing more than half the world's consumer technology. Great companies that work together to innovate. Of course, for South Africa, this is a very big challenge. We benefit enormously from this innovation in our own economy. And over time, we've got to develop our own technologies, as many emerging countries will do in the years to come. But I was reminded of this incredible entrepreneurial story that we read about over and over again of individuals with a great idea and the ambition and determination to make it succeed. And of course, being surrounded by venture capital willing to take the risk to get behind them. It's an extraordinary story that shapes much of the landscape of the global economy. And talking to the ambassador, I was again reminded of the strength of the United States and how fortunate we are to have investment from it and to have these companies present in our economy. In the African economy in the next 20 years, as it continues to grow and develop, I've got no doubt that American companies will also play a positive and constructive role, as will South African companies. And this benefit of technology is really going to change much of this continent. Americans are champions, they continue to be so, and it's great to see them in action.